So Minnesota Interfaith Power and Light is working to build the interfaith climate justice movement. There's two main ways that we do that. One, through leadership development and capacity building. We are the youth leadership team! We all have this like-minded idea. We see um, this issue with climate justice, climate change in our world, and we are dedicated and committed to making a positive change and a positive impact. And the other through on-ramps to action. So on one hand, we're empowering people to know that they can and how to take effective action to organize their communities around the climate crisis. And then on the other, providing real concrete ways um, that they can take action to make a difference. The kind of on-ramps to action that we create for faith communities, we focus on withholding actions, stopping the damage. So we think about pipeline resistance and then we are thinking about what is the future that we want to create? What are the alternatives? And that's when we get into the interfaith garden that we have, for instance, and understanding food sovereignty and working on solar and a different kind of relationship to energy systems that actually builds community. how nature is really precious and really special and unique and how you should appreciate it and be nice to it and to others because we're all part of nature. Um, my name is Inger Knutsen and I have been part of the All in the Circle camp for a while. My name is Aviva Meyerhoff and I am a member of the youth leadership team for Minnesota Interfaith Power and Light. And what that is, is a group of um, youth from middle school and high school who have gotten together. Um, um, through sustainability and community action. Um, 